What up, what up, what up, what up? Right back at you, your boy Big Truck, your humble host. Check this out. Shout out to my girl, Danica Marie. She's doing amazing things. Go to her channel and show the queen some love. Me and her are going to break this thing down, conversation and reviews. She's going to uh, give her thoughts. I'm going to give my thoughts. Then the spirit of the universe is going to take us home. It's a long video, but we're going to keep it short. In the description, in the description box, I'm going to leave a copy of this video so you can watch the full length of it, all right? So, without further ado, grab your shoulder pads and your helmets and walk it into the end zone with your boy, peep the shit out. Well, would you looky here? You have women out here finally admitting, you know what? I was wrong. I had it misunderstood. I thought that the men actually cared about, you know, women that got a lot of money going on, that got a lot of success. They don't, you know, because why? Men have their own. Men have their own resources. Men have their own finances. Men have their own motion. So why would I need to get into a relationship with a woman that is essentially going to be meeting me with the same things that I can give to myself? Make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Yeah, I heard it. They're taking notes. They're not listening to Prince Silla. They're not listening to Shira Seven. Fuck them. They give bad advice. But what they're listening to, they're listening to good, genuine, uh, traditional women. And they're listening to men. You get that advice from a man, from sitting down, having conversations with a man, asking a man questions, finding out what is it that that man need from you, and be that of what he needs. Because in return, you submit and you do for him, he will submit and do for you. And that's the thing a large number of modern women wasn't getting at first. And now they're getting it because wintertime is here. Without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into this dope discussion. Men don't care about the fact that you make six figures. Do you? Do your husband say, oh... Asher, because you make six figures, I love you. No, he don't care about that. I know I know what you guys have to do. Does he care about you making six figures? Does he care about your degrees? We don't. What he does care about is, is that dinner. Okay. <laughs> yes. And, but women... Because men are simple. We're simple. They're simple. They're simple. Yeah. And that... There it is. She gets it. She said it. Men are simple. It does not take much to please that man. Come home to a nice clean home, meal, some nice cheeks, nice good time is simple. That's the key to it. Yeah. What a lot of women don't pick up on is that here it is that the, the women, we got a whole long list of I need this, 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 yep. this, 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 this. But the men are like, give me some sex. <laughs> Give me some food mm -hmm. and respect me. And the remote. That's and, it. and let me That's watch it. my sports and then leave me alone. Leave me alone. Yeah. Leave me the hell alone. Yeah. So, <laughs> again, facts. I heard zero lie detected. You know what I mean? And so it's very refreshing to come across, you know, content to where women are finally saying, you know what? I did realize that. My man really does not care about what I'm able to contribute to him in a masculine way, if you will. You know what I mean? He's not caring about uh, my money. He's not caring about me being a good provider, a good protector, a boss chick. No, he's more concerned with a hot meal, okay? He's more concerned with taking care of the steel. Did that... That rhymed, okay, bars, okay? Men are only concerned about that hot meal and that hot stew. As long as you are taking care of those things, you're more than likely gonna be pretty okay, okay? And she's right. My homegirl is right. You think about it, ladies. Shira Seven and Priscilla aren't telling you this. They're telling you the total opposite how to play men, how to take from men, when they don't do that. 
they do the total opposite. Everything that Deacon Marie is saying right now, in this moment, do you know that Shira Seven does that at home with her husband? But when she gets online, her show takes a different twist because they're pandering to those broken women. They're pandering to those modern feminist women. They know what to say. They know how to grow their audience. They know how to race hustle. Don't get me wrong. It's a good business model. 50-50, teamwork, all those things come together. You see, that's it, that's all. Form depth, if you will, to the conversation. Let's run it. One of the biggest lessons I ever learned um, or harshest realities I ever, you know, had to come to you, is realizing that men do not care about your accomplishments as a woman. They don't care about your education. They don't care about your degrees. They don't care about how much money you're making. They don't care about, um, you know, what businesses you're running. They, they don't care about any of that stuff. If they do not find you attractive, they will not go out of your out of their way for for you whatsoever. They will walk right past you to a beautiful woman. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing about it is the sooner you like realize that and accept it, you won't even get like offended by it. Right. Like, because the thing about it, men and women are just wired differently. Make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Yeah, I heard it. Just wired differently. Listen, y'all know I'm the first to say that you need to care about how much that woman earns. Now, this guy here is where I want to further the conversation to. Okay, because like I said earlier, and like the guys and the, and the girls said earlier, they said, look, we don't really care about your money and your accomplishments and stuff like that. Let me, inter let me interject. It's not a, f a matter of we don't care. There, the, what you make, your education, your status, those things don't teach you how to keep a man. That's good that you accomplish those things. But on one on, on that hand, on another aspect, those things are important because you're gonna need them to function in a relationship. Same thing with a man. Okay? It's not about your status, it's not about all of that. But at the end of the day, in a relationship, they are needed. But it's not important. There's more to it. You see? Then you talk about your spirituality, your spiritual relationship, mental, emotional, all of those factors. But what happens is when a large number of women lean in with just that solely alone, I'm educated, I'm independent, I make my money, da 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 da, that turns a man off. Those things don't teach you how to keep a man. That's good that you accomplish those things and you have those things. And in the relationship, those things are good. But is that it? That's all you're coming with? You got to come with more than just that in your body. Like that. As long as you know how to be quiet, pass that remote and leave me alone. Give me a hot meal. Give me respect and peace. I'm good. But this brother here says, hold on, <laughs> time out, all right? A man absolutely should care about a woman's finances. And he's going to get into why he cares in a second. But I do feel like, you know, a lot of guys can relate to his perspective as well. Now, the female before him, I feel once again, is having that reality check and that wake up call to really understand that, yeah, I've been living life backwards. I've been surrounding myself with a bunch of bossed up chicks that were heavily influencing me and indoctrinate me to care about what type of money I'm making, what kind of. Not only that, but what type of influences do you have? You know, the type of individuals that you are around, who are you around? And it, it, it makes sense. We, we, we have to have an understanding of knowing who we are around and where we're getting our information from. 
support both perspectives. And I would love to get you all's feedback on it. All right. But y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Let's get back into it. Fuck all that. But I do want to speak to this topic because it's a popular one. The reason that most men don't care about how much money a woman makes is because he knows she's not trying to use it to further the relationship at all. Ladies, y'all fully understand this concept, but y'all like to play dumb when it comes to you spending your money. How many times have we seen women on this app talk about how the worst man to date is a man who has money but is stingy? The whole reason y'all are looking for a man with money is so that he will share it. If he doesn't share it, what's the point of him having it? And I get that concept. I fully understand it. But you have to understand what it's like to date a woman, right? She not trying to spend no money in this dating process, like at all. So why would a man even look at her finances? In his head, he like, she, she ain't trying. She, she ain't trying to contribute financially. Why the fuck would I care about how much money she makes? And that's a valid point. And me, myself, I've never really thought about it that deeply. I just came at it from a perspective of, well, men don't care about a woman's success and her degrees and her money and all of that because he has his own. But he's taking it a step further and saying, well, actually, it goes a little bit deeper than that. Men are seeing these women that have the money, that have the success, that have the credentials and have a lot of stuff going on for herself and understanding that just because she has it does not mean that she's going to share it. As a matter of fact, a lot of the women out there who have the most money, they're the most greedy. They're the most stingy. And the irony to that is they would be the first ones in line complaining about how the men are greedy, the men are selfish, and the men are not trying to splurge on them and wine and dine them. But that's a valid point, you know? And so that can also be a reason behind why a lot of guys don't care about how credentialed you are and how much money you have is because he knows that you're not going to make those things available for him anyway. Okay. And with that being said, I'm gonna leave the rest of this in the description box. Let me know your thoughts. You agree or disagree? It's your boy, Big Truck. Go ahead and be the best version of yourself and many people to see. Take that with you and go be great. Peace. One.